<laughs> Our next guest is just one of six clergy invited to the inauguration, which is, as you know, 17 days away. Rabbi Marvin Heyer is with us from the Simon Wiesenthal Center, and he will be one of those six clergy members. Rabbi, welcome to the program. It's great to see you again. It's a pleasure to be on. Sir, I'd like your reaction to the United States abstaining, as opposed to vetoing, that UN resolution that rules Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem are illegal. What's your reaction to that, sir? It was outrageous. Not only was it outrageous, but imagine just a few weeks before a new president uh, takes office to pull a stunt like that. Now, the problem is that most people do not know that settlements have been discussed over and over at the United Nations and their mantra is they're an obstacle to the peace process, to the two-state solution. Not once has the gutless United Nations and the Security Council had a meeting on, called a meeting, on how to dislodge Hamas, a terrorist organization committed to Israel's destruction from Gaza. Because what we have before us now is a three-state solution. It's like an accordion. You have Ramallah on one side, you have the Hamas terrorists in Gaza, and you have Israel in the middle. And to say that settlements is the reason that that is the only obstacle for a two-state solution is untrue, ridiculous, and prejudicial. Because the United Nations not once has ever discussed how do we dislodge Hamas from Gaza? Well, what role will you play in the inauguration? And what role will you say anything, if, the, if, the, if it's appropriate, will you say anything about that UN resolution? Well, I'm delivering a prayer. Yeah. I will hit I, modern themes. I'm honored to have been asked to do so. I believe it's the first time that a rabbi has been on the inauguration uh, since 1985, so I'm particularly honored, and uh, I look forward to making, a, it'll be a short prayer, but it will reflect okay. on the 21st century. Rabbi, can I just ask a political question? In the last election, Hillary Clinton got 68% of the Jewish vote. After the election, there was that vote at the United Nations pressed by President Obama. Do you see any distance coming between American Jewish population and the Democrats? Well, I can say that there's a large consensus amongst American Jewish organizations that this was a disastrous move on the part of the Obama administration. It's not only coming from people that are Trump supporters, it comes from people who are loyal Democrats and who feel that the United States has made a serious error. Okay. It's, it's a very interesting situation, Rabbi, and we'll be looking for you at the inauguration, which is, what, 17 days away. And congratulations you. on your participation Thank you. in this event. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes, sir.